Uh, let me introduce. Uh, this is Namaste. Namaste. This is the man, uh, a man called Kavi, but otherwise known to the planet as great, great star, great star, <laughs> as pleasure craft. I'll show you all. Uh, so we're doing this little thing where um, this is just for our own unmute agency thing. So, bro, it was a pleasure to meet you today. Did you have fun? It was a great time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great way to finish up the India tour here in Bangalore. So yeah. you, you put all your eggs in this basket, did, did they all hatch? Yeah, they hatched. There was yeah. a lot of nice spring chickens. Yeah. I know in the beginning there was a little bit of a... Yeah, 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 the you know, sound and technical yeah, yeah. stuff, but... Uh, the crowd was great and that almost always kind of eclipses any other type Absolutely. of issues. So. so you had fun with that? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Alright, so this is, I think a lot of people are asking, or want to know rather, what's up with the name Pleasure Club? How did you guys come up with that? I know it's a question, that, I know it's... it's yeah, no worries, no worries. But um, it's, uh, it's actually from an American show called Dexter, where... Um, are you serious? Yeah, where he refers his to his boat, well the name of his boat is Slice of Life. But in the show, in one episode, he says, I never thought of this vehicle that I used to dispose of my victims' bodies, that it could double as a pleasure craft. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, that's Dude. it. Yeah, I'm a huge Dexter fan. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's actually, it's good. Put in one word, switch it to K, because yeah. Colin and Kame, both our names start with K, so it was like. So yeah, there are two of you, right? So, of course, and, yeah. And, and he doesn't DJ. Um, no, I do all the touring now. Um, and Kali is kind of based out of Stockholm now, um, oh, okay. mainly focusing on the production right. stuff now. Just like with so much stuff to do, it's kind of the easiest way to do things. Kali started out producing, I started out DJing. Um, so it's kind of like each one kind of does the thing that it's right. most natural. We used to work on tracks like all the time together, but just as like things got busier and busier, it just doesn't make sense anymore. I just think. But uh, did you guys ever plan to do something maybe like live act or something? Because I mean, since the two of you. Dude. The world might end December 2012 if the Mayans are right. So let's just get to January 2013 first, <laughs> will you, will you and then we'll day? see. And then we'll see what, what the rest of the future has to hold, alright? Yeah. Alright, so going to a bit of a geeky thing, because you know, like, we we, yeah, we've been trying to, we're all like. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, what, what, what's. The cops are telling us to leave. It's Bangalore. Uh, that's a raver. That's a raver. Yeah, that's Shut a raver cop. So. Your studio, what's it like? What do you guys like? How do you how do you work? Do you guys um, have like a, a, um, like because your sound is it, it is unique. Like the pleasure craft, pleasure craft sound is there's a thing like you can hear it in your tracks. Yeah. Obviously, let's forget the carnies and the, yeah. Yeah, let's just get to the real stuff. What? what? Um, we're actually not like hardware freaks like some de some producers are. Absolutely. Um, also, because it costs a fucking lot of money. I don't do shit um, like that. Yeah. <laughs> So really, if you really get to know the synths that you use, the soft synths that you use, the you know few bits of hardware that you might have, just get to know all the ins and outs of it, and then get to know EQing and compression really well. And we, we're fortunate that we have a guy that does amazing mastering work for our tracks. Um, so the label doesn't do you guys do your no, own? No, uh, Miles Dyson does all our mastering. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Which is funny because he's a big electro guy, which is which is why like when you hear like our tech house tracks on a big system and they really pump and they're big, it's because it's like a big electro guy mastering tech house tracks. But we love that. So in, in, in that sense, it's like we're really fortunate in that sense. Um, and yeah, it's just like getting to know EQing compression, the little bits of stuff that you do have inside and out goes a long way. You don't need to go spend a lot of money on hardware that, you know, it's all about the ideas. If you have great ideas, you can make it work. If you buy the most expensive thing and have no good ideas, your tracks are still going to be crap. It's the gear, not the gear. Be good. <laughs> Might have to steal that one. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, so Rich and Jamie. Yeah, all right. Rich and Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, just ending the whole thing. Like, okay, you played three pieces in India. You played Sunburn. You played uh, some club and Getty. And you played tonight. Yeah. What do you think? Like, I mean, Bangalore, man. Yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah. Mumbai was cool, but it was a festival, so I don't think you really can gauge a city based on a festival. Absolutely. But as far as just a, a regular gig in a, in a 
city. I mean, Bangalore is great. And you love Indian food, right? So, oh, yeah. You usually come back. Oh, yeah. The next time we go and do I'm going to hold you to that. Dude. <laughs> yeah. For sure, yeah. man. It was awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank Great spending with you as well. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.